Today on Texas Game Hunters TV, we are heading out to the beautiful hill country in Texas in search of black buck antelope and axis deer. Our first stop on day one is at Menard, Texas on a 60 acre low fence ranch where the black buck have been plentiful after putting out the rack rage deer attractive. Hunting is not just about the pull of the trigger or the release of an arrow. It's about the effort you put in and the adventures you experience. It's about what comes after and putting meat in the freezer. Hunting is a way of life and it's in our blood. And that's why we're Texas Game Hunters. This portion of Texas Game Hunters is brought to you by Wicked Hunting Lights, the Gut Daddy Field Dressing Kit, Horn and Antler Ranch, Savage Arms, Back Road Products, Pure Outdoor Alliance Select C, and Burris Optics. All right, let's see on the left is a female, right is a little male. Black buck down. Yes. <laughs> I knew they would come this morning. Oh, that's so awesome. Let's go get her. Oh, that's awesome. Oh. Dude, that 6.5 Creedmoor did a number on her. This portion of Texas Game Hunters is brought to you by Amazine Outdoors, The Reveal by Tacticator, Fortified Cotton Seed, Expedition Archery, Prime One Camo, Outdoor Edge Knives, and Scrape Fix. at 12 o'clock in the afternoon. <laughs> it's like I'm a fox magnet. But anyway, that's a perfect example to show you how awesome and easy this Tacticam setup is to self-film. I don't have a second camera in here. I'm not fumbling around. Uh, after the shot, I didn't have to reach for the camera to follow through with it. It was all done self-film, point and click, hands-free, right here. I have a Tacticam 5.0 on 8x zoom pointed forward to get that whole view. I have a 5.0 wide pointed back at the shooter to get that first person, you know, 
reaction. Uh, and then I have a Tacticam 5.0 on the FTS through the scope to get that kill shot. And then I also have a 5.0 wide angle on the blind pointed back at me. Now, click of the remote turns them all on and starts recording instantly up to five cameras, including the new FTS or the new uh, fisheye from Tacticam. You can have so I can even have another 5.0 wide angle out and about on a decoy on a turkey decoy up at the blind or I mean up at the feeder wherever I want to get that extra view and then on top of that you can then connect to each camera and change the settings there's so many different settings you can do from third from 15 frames per second up to 120 frames per second 4k HD 1080p 720p there's so many different options and then you can do quick hot buttons right here hot buttons to set up the uh, the different settings on the remote to just a quick quick press of the button changes modes to different settings that you set up and then you have the mounts we have a picatinny mount here for this camera we have a clip on mount we have the FTS mount uh, they have the under the scope mount to go under the scope to prompt forward or backwards then you have the head mount for the recovery type view Tacticam system hands free you can do it all the 5.0 with the remote, everything is recording with a press of a button. It's awesome. This portion of Texas Game Hunters is brought to you by Phantom Blinds, Fox Pro Game Calls, Ranger Ready Repellents, Folicious.net, Rack Rage Deer Attractants, and Tacticam Share Your Hunt. Day two, we take a short drive to Texas Hill Country Axis Hunt for a spot and stock on an Axis doe. So, it's almost eight o'clock. We're only here one day. Looks like the clouds are gonna hang out, so it may just be a good morning for a spot and stock. Uh, because we're only here for one day, I grabbed the rifle. Uh, spot and stock with the bow would be awesome if I had more time, but... I want to try to get this done. I've got the tactic cams all hooked up on the rifle, three different angles. So and I've got my remote so we can uh, travel light, and hopefully get it done. Let's give her about 20 minutes. She did a big back flop. Uh, let's go look for blood and then give her some time and go track her. Yes. All right, let's count 300. One, two, four, five, six, eight, two, nine, 300. So she was right around in here. She hit her back hard. I doubt she ran far. See if we can find blood. I'm walking right on the straight line trajectory of where she was. I don't see blood. Uh-oh. She couldn't have gone far. <laughs> there she is, right in front of me. Oh man, big doe. All right. There's the there she is. A self film spot and stalk Axis doe hunt here in Hill Country, Texas Hill Country Axis hunts. Man, I didn't get it done with the bow like I wanted to. They just came into the wrong feeder. They came into the one behind me and uh, 
then they just mosey on back into the uh, woods. So I decided, let's get the rifle and put a spot stock on them. They busted me at once. Then I tracked them down this way and I got about 325 yards and I said, okay, that's a, gonna be about close enough. Otherwise they're gonna take off and... What's up, Avery? Say hi. 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 <laughs> so are you gonna help clean my deer? Yeah? You helped me, did you help me load it? Or did you stay in here in the air conditioning? In here, in here, like a, he's smart. It's yeah. getting hot already. It Ooh. is getting hot. Well, I'm, I'm going to sit in the air conditioning while you clean it, then, Avery. Does that sound like a good deal? Yeah. Yep, yep. He's a big helper. He doesn't mind doing anything. Cows, maybe coming back. You think so? Yeah. Okay. Since everything came together and we got it done early in comfort, it's time to head back to Menard, Texas. With this cool weather, the deer are up and moving midday and our odds of putting on a successful stalk on another black buck have gone way up. There she is up there. Look at this blood. There she is up there. This is exactly why we love living in Texas, hunting all year round, and we have opportunities to put some of the best meat you will ever have in the freezer. It's time to get back home and start reaping the benefits from a successful weekend. Until next time, I'm Joseph Truesdale, and this has been Texas Game Hunters TV.